二十八，星岛日报 Inspection， 二零一五年七月十五日，星岛教育 F 零四学做侦探 Literary Detective Writers Doctor Vicky O O I Catherine Louise Perkins Drawn Daggers 上回提要 Miss Monroe 从小在中国长大，并在南澳 J 上追求者 Danvers 父亲 George 为了阻止 Danvers 接近他。送把 Miss Monroe 托付英国好友 Mr. Hawk 收容看管。Love Day 乔装到 Mr. Hawk 家中守证，无意中听到 Miss Monroe 和 Mr. Hawk 的侄儿 Jack 的悄悄话，内容似乎跟财富有关。问 Doctor Vicky O O I Episode 三 Mr. Hawk asked Miss Monroe's maid to take Love Day around the house. This is Miss Monroe's room, she said when she stopped outside a room. The room that Loveday entered was furnished in the style that prevailed in the early Victorian period. Everything in the room was very much in order, and yet everything that a lady could require in dressing lay ready to hand. I never before saw a room so orderly and, at the same time, so comfortable," remarked Loveday. "She's like no one else I ever had to do with," the maid said snappishly. "She not only won't be helped in dressing." But she arranges her room every day before leaving it, even to placing the chair in front of the looking glass. In ten minutes, Loveday completed the inspection of the room. Then she dismissed the maid at the drawing room door and asked her to tell Mr. Hawk that she wished to see him before leaving. Mr. Hawk, looking much disturbed and with a telegram in his hand, appeared from my wife to say she'll be back tonight. She'll be at Waterloo in about half an hour from now. I have done all I wish to do within your walls. Done all you wish to do. Mr. Hawk was amazed. Now, can you tell me anything about any letters Miss Monroe may have written or received? Yes, certainly. Sir George wrote to me very strongly about her correspondence and begged me to keep a sharp eye on it. Every letter that has come addressed to her. She has shown neither to me or to my wife in the morning breakfast, and they have one and all been letters from old friends of her father's. Every one of the letters she has received, my wife says, remain unanswered. Still, she has no opportunity of posting them secretly except through Mrs. Hawkes' maid, and she is beyond suspicion in the matter, no doubt. Now, Mr. Hawk, I have a very special request to make to you. You may rely upon me. Thank you. If you should receive by post tomorrow morning one of those big envelopes and find that it contains a sketch of three, not two, drawn daggers, please open it in full view of your family at the breakfast table, just as before, and to hand round the sketch to your wife, your nephew, and to Miss Monroe. Disclaimer: This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual events or persons is entirely coincidental. Glasser snappishly. A D V. Bolto de correspondence. N. Sunkin Q and A. Yet, what did the maid think about Miss Monroe? E. What did Love Day ask Mr. Hawk to do before she left the house? Answers. Yet, she thought that she was too independent and that she was unhappy that Miss Monroe would not trust her in rounding her room. E. She asked him to open and share the letter he might receive, containing a sketch with three daggers in front of all his family members and the guest in the morning. Doctor Vicky O O I Wang Tingha has a B A degree from the University of Hong Kong, H K U, and a P H D in drama from Bristol University. A professor of literature, drama, and English at H K U for some sub years. D R O O I is also a renowned theatre director and founder of Shakespeare Sale and Seals Players. After retirement, she established a two art school to teach gifted and talented kids in the arts. Email so say to look in some info at edwards dot com dot h k.